I was born with a bladder problem that led to kidney damage, and I knew that I was going to have to have a transplant at some point in my life. I figured it was going to be later rather than sooner. But um, when I was uh, in my early 30s, back in 2010, the doctor said that I was going into renal, into renal failure. And it was September of 2009, and I was informed that I was going to have to go on dialysis. It means the inconvenience of having to dialyze either every day or at least three days a week. It means the cost of driving to uh, a dialysis center. It means not being able to work. It means uh, all the ravages of dialysis and uh, fatigue, uh, stress on your family members. Uh, so it's really, I don't think people realize how difficult dialysis can be um, to a family and to the individual until you've really experienced that. It was very, very difficult for me to be able to find full-time work. I was actually doing some consulting business at the time, but I was also looking for full-time employment, and unfortunately being attached to a dialysis machine made that very, very difficult for me. We decided that, all right, it's time to let the cat out of the bag and let people know that we were dealing with this situation and my health took precedent over me trying to find work. So my wife and I posted on Facebook that I was having end-stage renal disease and that I needed a transplant and if anybody was willing to uh, get themselves tested. And thankfully I had some wonderful people step up uh, in my life and in Amanda's life to get themselves tested and thankfully one of them worked out. Uh, we don't enter that decision lightly. Uh, medically we want to make sure that person is going to do very well. Um, and it's a, it is a sacrifice, but it's a small sacrifice in terms of time. Uh, but the benefits are enormous. And I think when people realize that they can help somebody, I think a lot of people want to help someone, they just don't know how they, they could do it. Nick is the kind of person that really, when there's a problem, he is the kind of person that would stand up and say, I, I want to help, what can I do to help? We sat down at, at our house and we're, we were talking about it just to make sure that he was comfortable with, with you know, giving me that gift. Um, and he said, yes, absolutely, I would like to do this. And yeah, I mean, I owe everything to him. We just had twins uh, two months ago, and they wouldn't be here if Nick hadn't done for me what he did. So I look at them and I think of, you know, everything that kind of led up to them being here and how instrumental Nick was and really just, you know, changing my life and changing the life of my family and making things so much better. Uh, I'm, I'm eternally grateful to him. I think the one thing that's wonderful about social media is it allows us to stay connected to people we, you know, we haven't kept in touch with over the last several years. I think that it's a real wonderful, you know, tool that can be used for some really fantastic purposes like charities and, you know, and organ donation and you know, you know, just all the good things that are out there. It really helps to speed up the process for people who can get a living organ and tissue donation for themselves.